Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. We're going to see some scattered strong storms today, but likely a higher chance for your Thursday. Let's get right into the details. Had a couple of storms move through early this morning. Around 5.30, had some heavy storms move through the Charlotte area. That cluster is back near Raleigh right now. If we look back to the northwest, you can see that huge cluster of storms. I'm going to turn all the warnings on right now because there are a lot of them. That is a huge cluster causing flash flooding right now across a big section of western Kentucky into Tennessee. That's what we got to watch over in that area. We're going to watch the potential for any storms that develop here to rotate down here and maybe produce severe weather here in the Carolina. So let me pause this real quickly and I'm going to turn on the severe weather outlook for today. And you can see a huge area in that low risk that does include most of the Carolina. So it's a low risk. The medium risk is back here to the west. Now, tomorrow will be a completely different threat. We're going to see threat probably a little bit more widespread. And I'll show you what that looks like here. Let me quickly turn off everything and we'll show you what that looks like. So again, this is today's severe weather risk. Again, probably isolated. Tomorrow, notice we're kind of in that low and now bigger medium area. What we're gonna watch out for is any storms that develop in this Northwest flow are gonna move down here and the potential to produce damaging straight line winds. Even if we go to day three, you could see down to the South, we've got that severe weather risk. So let's go back, look at that future cast and kind of show you while there won't be widespread storms, the ones that get going are going to tap into that cooler, drier loft and produce some gusty winds. All right, so here's a look at the future cast. We'll go into the afternoon hours. You can see that big cluster back to the west. As we get to about 3, 4, 5 o'clock, that's when we see the isolated storms develop. Notice there's not a ton of them around, and that's kind of what I would expect, that they're going to be pretty isolated in nature, but the ones that can get going potentially could be severe. We'll go into the evening hours. You can see a couple clusters around 6 o'clock. Got about seven o'clock they're pushing off to the east and then they're get, getting out of the region so that's kind of today not a huge risk right just isolated let's go through tonight we'll go into the early morning hours we start looking to the northwest early tomorrow morning you know here's 10 o'clock look at that big cluster developing back into kentucky and tennessee so this is about 11 a.m on thursday we get into the afternoon hours look at that so you can see why tomorrow's risk likely is going to be a much higher risk just because it looks like one of these complexes of thunderstorms is going to develop and likely push into the Carolinas. Now remember, let's go back to our severe weather outlook for tomorrow. I'll pop this up briefly and you can see um, that area that's going to be in yellow here right there. So you could see this is this is why that risk is in place for your Thursday. So I'll turn that back off and you can see, look at that line. Yeah, that's likely going to be a pretty big line. Strong damaging winds, maybe some small hail, but this honestly starting to look like a flood threat because if that cluster moves slow enough, that's going to put down a lot of water in a short period of time. So that will push out as we go into the evening hours and maybe some more developing early on Monday or Friday morning, Friday morning. We might talk about Monday. So let's loop this. This is a 48 hour loop. So you can see today's risk is pretty low. Tomorrow's risk, definitely a much higher risk for seeing some isolated storms. So we'll pay attention to the risk today, but I think they'll be very isolated. As you see right there, this thing tomorrow, let's go into tomorrow one more time just to show you. That's what we'll be watching to the Northwest. The good thing about this pattern is you kind of see what's coming. Um, you, know, you just don't know where the track's gonna set up. Are the storm track like today is here? Is it gonna be here? But you're gonna see these things develop to our Northwest and then move in. We call this Northwest flow because the mid-level flow is driving all those storms. They're steering the storms in. It's also the same flow that helped bring down that wildfire smoke, which thankfully today, it's finally pushed out into the Atlantic and gotten out of the Carolinas. So I'll keep an eye on this, post updates throughout the day and tonight and see on air at 4, 5, 6, and 11.